Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 32. Inside this video, we are going to see how can we render data to layout. This is basically the continuation of last video. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of KPHP 4, Coordinator 4, MySQL, WordPress, then you must visit this blogging website. If I back to browser, now here we can see that inside this programming blog articles, we have several different different categories. Inside each category, we have interesting blog topics. If I scroll down, here we have a section of latest blog post, which is displaying all about recently posted blog articles. Back to the topic, inside last video, we had seen these methods called all, get, first method, find and first where. We had seen the concept of selecting data from our database table. Now inside this video, we are going to create a layout and we will see that how can we select data from controller and send to the layout of view file. Back to editor. So this is all about the method we had, where we had written all about to select data. So what I will do, simply let's say we are going to comment this line or let's see if we are going to remove all the lines from here. So students equal to student and we are going to use all method. Also we are going to call a view file so let's return view and inside this view let's say list hyphen student. Need to know that we need to create a file called list hyphen student dot bleed dot php press Ctrl B, go inside resources folder, views folder and inside this we are going to create a file called list-students.bleed.php. Now inside this file we need to create a layout, back to browser. So here I have opened all about w3schools.com. This is bootstrap tables. So inside this document, if I click on the first link, Copy the whole source code to basically create a layout. Go inside this editor, pasting it here. And here we have bootstrap example. So let's put our dummy title, list students. Here we have the CDN links of let's say bootstrap, jQuery and bootstrap.mean.js. Inside this, this is we have basic table. So let's say list students. Get rid of this paragraph tag so I am deleting this is all about the table we have so inside th let's say the first column we should have called ID next we have the name email and the fourth column we want something let's say mobile number so instead of double email let's say mobile here and also get rid of this all tr from here and next Let's pass an ID attribute inside this table tag. So this is TBL list hyphen students. And also we are going to use the data table concept with this table. Go here. This is the official website of data table. So to convert any table into a data table, we need to actually import some jQuery files or let's say some CSS files. So here is the link, I will copy, go here. So the first link I have copied, that is for CSS. So href, this is the CSS link called jQuery.datatables.mean.css. This is HTTPS and also I'm going to copy this relational attribute and pasting it here. Now the next. I am to copy all about this JS that is data tables dot mean dot js. So copy, go here, go inside this T body, let's say after this div. We are going to use the script tag. And inside this script tag, I am to use the src attribute, let's say https, and putting this CDN link. Now the next we need to actually bind our table ID with the data table method. So what I will do, simply copy this code, 
back to editor. Let's make another script tag to write our jQuery code. Go inside this script tag and here is the code. So inside this code, simply we need to pass our table ID. So simply copy this ID, scroll down and I am going to replace with this my table. And also one more thing that if suppose you didn't import this file, then you will get error when you use, when you use this data table method. So before using this method, you need to actually import this library. Now next, successfully we have integrated a table and also we have implemented the data table concept over this table. Now the next thing, go here and for actually seeing that what we have done so far, simply list data and here view list hyphen student not found well, actually it is not founding so go here again student controller so this is list hyphen student and the file we have created called list hyphen students so i am adding s here save these changes go and reload this page so this is the table and click on inspect actually i think that the data table is not working so here we have some error and error is that because here we have the four columns but keep in mind here we are putting only the three TDs so we need to put one more TD save these changes go and reload this page now the error has gone and the next error we have we are getting all about this CDN link that is aborted means here you'll see that this is our local development server and this is all about the CDN link so to get rid back to editor and inside this layout file I think we have some mistake because this is our local address and here we have HTTPS actually we missed the colon go here and here we need to write HTTPS colon symbol so save these changes go and reload this page now we have no error at this console so successfully now the simple table is now converted into a data table the next task is that we need to render our dynamic data inside this table so go inside this student controller copy this variable making an array let's say students and passing our data back here now we can access this variable because we are passing this variable inside this view file go here get rid of this dummy data or simply let's say we are using our directive and let's say php we are using our php tag so here we should write actually int php this is not php tag this is php directive and the use of php directive in laravel it is going to give access to write any php code inside this also, if you don't want to use this PHP directive, then instead of that, we can use for each directive. So let's say that we are going to use for each directive. So int for each. Now here, we have now a students variable available as let's say student. Now go inside that. Simply, I'm going to cut this dr. Paste pasting inside this between of for each. Inside this static value making curly pairs and let's say student and the first column we should have the id so this is all about the id next inside this second value we have the name so student name next we have the email address so this should be something student email and the fourth column we have called the mobile number so instead of email let's say mobile get rid of this last empty td save these changes go here reload this page and as we can see that we are getting all the data what we have inside our table in the form of a data table we have successfully implemented this table as well as we have added the data table jquery plugins file and also we have converted into a data table format so in the next video, we will see some more different concepts. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.